I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. A lot of times when you get your dealt hand, you can go different ways. This exercise will help you with decision making and hopefully build your confidence. It's called Charleston Chain Reaction. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do two iterations. The first one will be for plan A, the one that we think is the strongest. Then we'll do another iteration where we'll try plan B and then we'll compare results. I'll deal 14 tiles and then create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a couple of jokers, a flower, red dragon, one, three, four in dots, four, five, seven, eight in bams, one, seven, eight in cracks. We have no multiples, so we're going to identify the strength of the hand through the predominant pattern. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd probably focus on three, four, five, three, four, five. The other thing I was thinking is we could do little odds or seven, eight. Here, at least we have three or four numbers in a range or three numbers in a range with four tiles, three, four, five. So I think that's what I would start with. So for plan A, let's focus on three, four, five. Plan B, let's focus on seven, eight. So we'll break up these tiles here and focus on three, four, five. Oh, let's take a photo so we can recreate this. We'll pass these. Here's a three, four. And we do have tiles we can pass here. So we have three, four. Oh, let's see. I need to take another photo of that incoming pass. Okay, three, four, keep. And we can pass those. Let's see, maybe, maybe pass these three. We're going to take a photo again. We have a two two, three, four, five, three, four, and five. And we have tiles we can pass there. Now this red dragon, we might be able to use if we do the consecutive concealed hand. So let's keep, let's see, two, three, four, three, four, three, four, five. There is a hand there, three, four, three, four, five. Let's let the red dragon go. We'll take a photo of that. No keepers. We'll take a photo of that. We do have a four in here. Three, four, two, three, four, five, four, five, two west. That can go. So four, we have all the fours. I think I would keep the run and let the three dot go. Cause we could still do two, three, four. Let's see, two, three, four. Oh, we need a five dot. Let's see, three, four. Oh, three, four, three, four, five, I think is what I was thinking before. Three, four, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Oh, 
Oh, we don't want to pass two twos. Let's let that five go. And we'll take a photo. Now we have two, three, four, five, five. Two, three, four, five, five. We do have all the fours, so let's let the three go. Take a photo. We got a two, three right there. Two, three, four. All the pairs. We could use these for the fives. Pass those. We don't need the flower. Two, three, four, five, five. So let's pass two in the optional. So we got a seven west. So we have four discards and a hand, no gaps. I think that's a pretty good choice. Let's do it again and see what happens with seven, eight. This is what we started with, and we're going to focus on seven, eight, seven, eight. Maybe we could even do like numbers. We'd have to let that go to use the red. All right, so we'll pass one, maybe one of each suit, four, five, one, four, five. Let's pass these sevens. You know what I was thinking? Maybe we should keep the five for five, seven, nine. So let's pass these three. So there's a three, it's an odd. Well, so is this for that matter, but I wouldn't pass two fours. There's a nine. Here's a five, five, seven, nine, big odds there. Let's pass these three. There's an eight and a six. We have two tiles to pass. So we have five, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight, and an eight. No multiples yet. We could maybe do something with five, seven, nine, Five seven nine five seven five seven seven nine. No gaps there. We have seven eight nine though. We have seven eight. We have all the eights. All the eights. Let's see. Let's keep the five bam and let the five crack go. Because we could still maybe do something with five seven nine and then focus on consecutive with seven, eight. And we have all the eights. Whoops. No keepers. Okay, so there's a nine and a five. I think this hand wanted to be odds. Seems like we have too many tiles, but we don't. Okay, so there's the east. We can pass. We have one more pass for the Charleston. We still have no multiples. Now, the 579 odd potential, I think, has dwindled without that five crack, but I don't think that would have been helpful anyway. 579 and one suit is okay. Like numbers with eights is okay. We have seven, eight, seven, eight, nine potential. We could maybe do six, seven, eight, nine a couple ways, but there are no multiples. We need a tile to pass. Now we could pass blind, but I wouldn't because we don't even know what hand we're playing. I'd rather 
see if we could get at least a multiple out of one of these passes. There's our first multiple right there, eight. So I would reassess eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. That's probably what I would focus on there or like numbers with eights. Pass those two, maybe the five. Now this is risky. I don't think I would do that. I think I would probably keep, let's see, maybe, maybe give up on that nine and focus on eights or seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. And that way we could pass. Oh, this is very risky. Two, five, nine. Let's just do it. See if we can get something out of here. No, we do have six though, I guess. Six, seven, eight, nine. Our other nine is in here. So here we have really seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, five discards, six discards, six discards and a hand, no gaps. But we could also maybe play like numbers with eights. And here's an east-west, that's interesting. We could maybe do east and west with eights. So two discards with lots of options. I think the other one was stronger because this is kind of diluted. But I think either would have been viable. And I like this hand. That's a fun hand to play, but we have only one multiple in there, so it would be risky. Singles for where the pairs are supposed to be. Maybe the east and west with eights would be better here and keep these for another option and go with east and west with eights. Discard those. This was very challenging, but I think they're all viable. It's just this one is more diluted and there's only one multiple. This is a great exercise if you ever find yourself questioning if you went the right way. Get your phone out and your tiles, create a mock Charleston and deal yourself some tiles. Take photos along the way so you can recreate the Charleston in a second iteration. In the first one, do plan A. In the second one, do plan B and compare results. Let me know if it helps build your confidence with decision making. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.